Welcome to Arco Germany and to a new review. And today I have for you a single cast cognac from Navarre from the Grand Champagne and I really hope you enjoy this review. The Cognac House Navarre is located in Gondville in the Grand Champagne. The estate has a size of about 11 hectares and they have the grape varieties Uni Blanc, Colombard and also some Foil Blanche. And there's a speciality there. They harvest by hand. So the most cognac producers you will find, they will all do it by machine. So this is extremely special here that they harvest everything by hand. So this were now the information to the Cognac House Navarre and now we want to start with our review. So the cognac today, I will show you here a picture from the bottle, how it looks like. And the bottle and the label is the classic Navarre style, which we know. And it's a lot 93 and this bottling was available exclusively at Authentic Spirits at their online shop. And we have here in cognac from the Grand Champagne, it's a single cast bottling. Uni Blanc grapes were only used for this cognac and we have here an ABV of 50.5%, it's a cast strength. Bottle size was 70 centiliters, there were no additives used. This cognac is already completely sold out, so you don't have to look at the shop from Authentic Spirits, you won't find it there. And the price when it was um, released was 170 euro. So these were now all the information to Navarre and to the cognac today. And now we start with the tasting. So I mentioned this uh, cognac is already sold out. So I was very happy to get my hand here on the sample. And yeah, we want to have a look first to the color. And the cognac has a yeah, very nice beautiful light uh, amber color and so we want first to have a look into the aromas from this cognac. Mm -hmm. Wonderful nose, beautiful. You have here a beautiful combination of sweetness and spices from the wood. So you, you feel this wood intense. And this is a beautiful um, combination here. Very nice. There's also a decent um, floral style in the background, but for me here present this sweetness in combination with the wood spices, wonderful, beautiful. So what I have, I have, um, yeah, a very sweet note first, the dates, but I even think also there's a hint of a, a tropical note in here for me. some passion fruit and a hint of um, a coconut, a dried coconut, not a fresh, the dried coconut, some red currants and also very sweet licorice and a diesel floral note for me personal is like the elderflower, the, yeah, elderflower, yeah. Very nice, beautiful, but not one of these flavors which I mentioned is overwhelming. They are all beautiful um, integrated here. It's a beautiful mix of these flavors. Of course, the sweetness is very present, but it's not that the dates, for example, are here in front. No, it's... I also could mention first the, the red currants, for example, or the licorice, because it's every time when you put your nose into the glass, you have something different first. Now I had more the coconut, more intense like before. Very nice. Yeah, it's a beautiful, fantastic nose. Great. Okay. 
Let's have a look into the palette. If we can find here similar aromas, different aromas. Santé. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. So palette first, when you take the first sip at the first moment, you realize an extremely sweetness again, like a very sweet mango. And then you have also a decent floral style, but a sweet floral style. And it's for me maybe something like a lavender honey here. And then it gets more spicy. You have again the intense wood influence here, the cayenne pepper, and also are some oranges present here on the palette. Beautiful, very nice palette. And the finish um, is a little bit more drier. You have um, a very dark, intense chocolate. You have also some licorice again here in the finish. A hint of some raisins are present as well and again a pepper because also the finish has even more maybe the wood influence than the nose and the palate. Very intense finish. Long finish and this licorice here which is here on your cheeks. Beautiful. Great. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Um, as I mentioned, it's already sold out. So sorry if you see this review and cannot find any bottles. Mm. But um, yeah, so I know a lot from, or heard a lot from cognac um, connoisseur that they are a big fan from the Navarre um, cognac. I had a chance to try already some Navarre, but this one was so far the best Navarre cognac I tried. Definitely. with. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, oh, it was the best, yeah. They have also a very good um, Vieille Reserve, I think, and um, I think also this, this Souvenir Imperial, I think they have. I also had a chance to try this one, but I cannot remember how good it was. I just know that this, um, the other one was, was very good, yeah. But, but this is absolutely here outstanding. Yeah, now it's again more a little bit the, the, um, the passion fruit more present here. Yeah, it, it changes. It's a flexible nose. It's a very um, a complex nose, of course, also. Yeah, so let's take also the last sip. Beautiful. And this is very interesting that the cognac, at the end it gets more drier. Very good. Very, very good cognac. Yeah, if it would be available, I would recommend it, of course. Absolutely fantastic. And also I think price-wise, 170 euro, yeah. Not cheap for a lot, 93, but Quality-wise and complexity-wise, perfect. Very, very good cognac. I'm impressed, absolutely. So, Aurelion, I don't know if you picked this cask for Authentic Spirits. Um, I think so. So, congratulations. Great, absolutely fantastic bottling you uh, bottled here, in my opinion. Mm, absolutely fantastic. And the finish is so long, still present with this beautiful licorice and now a little bit more of the raisins present. Wonderful. Yeah. Point-wise, point-wise, I would give this cognac 94 wonderful, great, fantastic points. And let me know if you had a chance to grab a bottle from this cognac or did you ever had a chance to try it somewhere else? What is your experience? Did you also like it? 
that much like I did or did you have another experience? Let me know in the comments if you like and also please leave a thumb up here and subscribe my channel if you don't have a subscription yet. Thank you very much for watching this review today and have a good time. Bye bye.